tonight on the Mac to the Future Livecast Go. Did you hear about the conspiracy theory about 5G causing COVID-19? If no, don't worry about it because it's stupid crap. If yes, don't believe it because it's stupid crap. Uh, there are reports of a pretty serious, if true, uh, email exploit in iOS and a shocking bit of news in that the iPhone SE is selling pretty well. All of that and more tonight on the Mac to the Future livecast. Go! And we are all here tonight on the Mac to the Future Livecast. Go! And yes, contrary to what you may believe, we are surrounded by idiots. Speaking of which, <laughs> we have our usual gang is here, head idiot here, and uh, we have we have the other two people. Uh, first one being David Ginsburg. How are you, sir? Do you feel like Doing an well. idiot, or are you just super smart? I'm or somewhere in pretty between. Smart. I'm, pretty I'm smart. I'm relatively smart. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I wouldn't call myself an idiot. No. Oh, but, okay. Uh, you see, I'd like to keep people's expectations low. But it's happy to be I here. <laughs> fun times. Just fun times. Loving working at home. Yeah. yeah. I can't. I just. I'm just getting stir crazy. Want to get out of the house. Yeah. But I was out. Here. I was out today. And you we'll get to talk. drive to work at least one time a week. Twice a week. Ooh. There's twice a week. Ooh. Yeah. I'd, it's, it's, I'd take that. It's almost like I have a life. Speaking of which, we also have Mr. Warren Sklar. Hello, Mr. Warren Sklar. I could be idiot number two if you want. Sure. Yeah. Like I said, keep people's expectations low. And I have, um, I have no self worth about myself. So don't do that. <laughs> We have we have a, a pretty good group of people in the uh, the yeah. chat today, and mm -hmm. they are they seem to be under the impression that I have uh, shaved my drinking. head. Whoops! Uh, hold on. Darn it! Got haircut. It's almost like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. No, no, no it's still there. It's just it's back in mm -hmm. a it's little how can, ponytail. How can anybody tell if you shaved your head if it's under a hat? Because there's no hair under there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah. okay. So, you know, everyone all yeah. concerned about, I about shaved getting my head. haircuts. You know what I did? I shaved my dog um, and did At a practice? really bad job. Practice? What? It, was it for no, practice? No, no. Because needed, the dog's not going to care. No, no. He needed a haircut. It was it, like... I don't want to get too graphic, but when he, you know, went number two, we it, it wasn't clean. He, he wasn't fresh down there after that, so we had to do something. So um, I posted oh on God. Facebook. I, I cut his hair. I'm so glad so you brought this up. I got. So my wife bought my. Uh, my wife uh, bought Wait, these I, dog clippers. I was going to ask you: Are these the same clippers that you use to cut your own hair? No, no, okay. no, no, no. That they are. I got a flow thumbs not. up. Uh, thumbs up on that. Yeah, yeah. Because those those will not be touched. But anyways, <laughs> you put the attachments on. It has attachments like human hair ones, and you do that, and it does nothing. You're like doing that, nothing's happened. So I'm like, screw it. So I took the attachments off, and I started doing it, thinking not much was going to happen. Zip shaved like a big stripe right down to the skin on his back. I'm like, ah, that can't be right. Let me try it again. Oh, another stripe yeah, right no, down no, his no back stripe. of skin. So, I, so you you yeah, gave your dog my... you gave your dog a rear end mohawk is what you're telling me. <laughs> he's got um, he's got some uh, he's getting sunburned. Uh, two stripes on his back right now. It's, 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 it's so. an ass hawk. <laughs> okay, <laughs> ass hawk, ass hawk. Yeah, there you go. Oh. <sighs> All right. Um, 
Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Cletus also thought that the cat was typing, which jelly. That, which, oh, I every time I come down here to do any of these things, that the door is firmly closed away from the cats. <laughs> no cats allowed in here while I'm podcasting. Um, let's see what else is going on. Uh, we got wow, all kinds of comments tonight, and yeah, who's the press? And lots let's to see. get to, lots of stories. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let's go. Oh, wait. Hold on. One more. <laughs> Buttock. Okay. It almost sounds like a, like a Sylvester Stallone movie. Sylvester Stallone as or some... Butthawk. Yo, Adrian. All right. We got, we got something a couple Biff, of quick something takes. Something Biff would say. <laughs> a couple Butthawk. of quick takes. Um, mm. New iPhone SE is now available for pre-order and quite a few people have already done so uh now you guys are both on 11 pros right 11 pro max baby 11 pro max okay 11 pro max yeah i'm still on iphone 8 plus for not now. for long not for much longer smaller friday when's your shipping day friday friday and i've already the case for it's already so come. Uh, it's going to fill this case yeah. right here. So you heard they might be making a SE uh, Plus eventually. Well, well if they do, yeah. if they do, and if it's not like crazy priced, because I mean, honestly, and we talked about this last week, the, the iPhone SE was so, so well priced. Um, I think that it was like the, the perfect price for a phone like that. Yep. Uh, if they do come out with well, a slightly bigger one, I may go ahead and... and depending on how close we are to release of like the 12, uh, get one of those and then g either give one of my kids or my wife, uh, the iPhone SE well, that I'm getting I think on it Friday. Was, it's delayed. I don't think it's going to be out before 12. I think it was supposed to come out sooner, but they said it's delayed. So why? I think they you're all right like for at least a 2021. year. 2021. They're saying 2021. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. So you made the right get off the is, iPhone is five. So what, I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, oh, news on that front. Um, with me being home, I finally, finally, finally convinced her to start using the the original iPhone SE that I bought like a year and a half ago to replace her oh. five. And so That's I good. did the backup to her computer. You know, full backup of the iPhone five. And then I, I pull out the, the iPhone SE, and of course it's completely dead because it, it hasn't been charged in a long time. Finally get enough of a charge on it, and I, I plug it in and it goes through, hello, you know, once it's finally got a little bit of charge on, it does all that stuff. And then I'm trying to get the, the, the backup that I had synced onto it. It's going, no, you can't because the version of software on the iPhone SE was too old. So I had to, right. I had to update and take the oh, right. iPhone SE, the first one, all the way up to whatever its latest operating 13, system was. Thirteen four one. Yeah, before I could take the backup of my 13? wife's phone. The, the original so she's yeah. yeah, and so it, it's finally done. You know, and it was it was a relatively pain painless experience. Uh, the hardest part was getting the SIM card out, and I you know I got. The, the um yeah with your big clip. mitts yeah yeah you got you got to have a better you got to have a sim tool you know those paper clips can mess it, it up came too. with one i didn't know it was there, there it, in like the little accessory pack yep. it came it came with that little that little sim thing but i didn't realize that so i'd already oh, manipulated used to a carry paper one clip. With, I, I hope you didn't mangle the I hole used to with carry the... one with me <laughs> no 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 it was fine it was fine but it was after it was everything was said and done my wife was going to all the stuff in you the box do push pins too yeah yeah and she was like what's Keith. this Keith work. She, isn't isn't this the tool that you needed to get yeah. the sim card out oh <laughs> be quiet siri oh! and i was i was like yeah that's the tool i needed oh, actually it looks like, like frank is getting uh product red I got the oh, I got the black yes. one, and he's trading in his eight plus product black. Nice. Oh, just like you. So are you? Yeah. All right. So uh, next one we have little quick take. Uh, even with while many companies are holding on to as much cash as they can, Apple is planning on aggressive stock buybacks of up to one hundred billion dollars. 
And this actually, you know, when, when you consider that Apple probably has in cash reserves, what, six, seven hundred billion dollars just in, in cash reserves right now. Yep. While their stock is depressed, this is actually a really, really good time for them to do something like this. And the difference, and before anybody gets on their high horse, remember that that Apple is one of the few companies out there that's basically keeping everybody employed while they're not working. All, all yep. of the Apple Store employees are still being paid. Uh, they are being asked to do some tech support work if they can, you know, home tech support, My but God, they are me. still being paid. So, you know, Apple is, is according to all of the, the pundits that I've read so far, Apple is doing it the right way. So what do yeah, you, I mean, you guys think that doing the, the stock buyback makes sense at this point? Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, I mean, you also got to look at the, the retail stores. They're, they've had those stores closed since what, uh, mid to late March? And they're losing fifty five hundred dollars square foot of every uh, every uh, and hour most of the day. Of it, most of it's prime real estate. Yeah, all the money they're losing by not having those stores open because they're they they're the they make the most money out of any retailer on a per square footage basis uh, than than anybody out there. I mean, it, it's crazy. I remember reading an article. I thought it was like fifty five hundred dollars per square foot or something like that per hour. I mean, except it, for the New York store. The yeah, New, New York, York store actually triple doesn't make money. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it, the, the, but the, the one on Sixth Avenue, New York store actually does one? not make money. Doesn't matter. It's, it's a showcase yeah. store. Yeah, it doesn't um, make money. I, I read the whole article. They don't make any money on that store because uh, it washes it. It's a showcase Interesting. store. Interesting. Anyway, yeah. but this the yeah. I mean, I think it's smart. Just the market, the way the market is, how volatile it is. It can't hurt them. They buy back the stock and then they're going to put it back out on the market at some point. I mean, I'm, I'm no, I'm no uh, financial expert by any means, but uh, yeah, it sounds to me that it's that that wouldn't isn't a bad idea. Yeah, well, if you're going to do a stock buyback program, the the best time to do it is when the stock is depressed, right. not when right. not when it's at some of its peak peak. Uh, well, it's it's, worth. it's it's already making a recovery. So I mean, with two seventy six close to close today. So um, yeah. So it's it's making itself back. It went down as low as like I think the thing was I thought I saw as low as about two forty, so it came right back. So, um, you know, they I mean should have bought more one that was that low. Oh, uh, well, I mean I think back to nineteen ninety eight when it was twelve bucks a share, right? Yeah. You know, <laughs> and it's oh. it's they've had I think five <laughs> stock splits since then. One of them being seven to one, and I calculated it one time. And if you had for every one share of Apple stock that you had bought in 1998, I think you would have had something like 50, 60 shares now. And that was at $12 a share back then. Yep. All right. Moving on History. because should have bought more. Yeah. Well, and, um, uh, Ronald Wayne shouldn't have sold his, his, that's his stock. That's a whole other story. Yeah, that is a whole nother story. I, I feel so sorry for that guy. I had a friend, one of my online friends um, in the early days offered me like five bitcoins for free just to like, cause he was excited about it. And I said, no, <laughs> it was like, and here we are today. What, what are the, what that's still like trading at what? Five, $6,000 a coin. It's up to nine. It's uh, I think it's around nine now, 9,000. Okay. It goes up and down quite a bit. Um, yeah. Now you put this last one in here, Dave. Go ahead. Oh, um, yeah, that uh, FaceTime it was, uh, like I lost notes here. Uh, FaceTime didn't see much growth due to COVID-19. Hmm, I wonder why, because Zoom hmm. has all of its uh, growth. I, I, uh, the article said that um, they were uh, saying that uh, FaceTime has not grown much at all. I mean, it's got just average usage as it, as it always has. You know, I got my family using it all the time, but then, but you can turn around. I mean, I was just in a meeting today for work uh, in a Zoom meeting because people love, like I told you during pre-show, Brady Bunch. They just love seeing 10, 15 faces on a screen so they can say, hi, hi, hi. Um, so Zoom is, uh, Zoom is, has really prevailed in, in that market. And in fact, I, they are going to be releasing, as uh, a uh, side story, is uh, uh, version five of their software is going to have all the security fixes uh, uh, finally taken care of. So, yeah. uh, so zoom is, zoom is really exploded. And that's why I, I, I say, I don't, you don't see FaceTime as, uh, uh, as 
much as far as growth uh, during this time. Okay. Um, I think moving... a lot of people don't know. Oh, they sorry. don't think of face. No, that's right. A lot of people don't think of FaceTime for you know multi-participant uh, meetings. A lot of people will FaceTime is very big for one-to-one, -one, you know, quick calls with people who have iOS yeah. devices, and and nobody's going to use Zoom for that if you're doing like two people. But people don't really know that you could do multiple people, and then once you start doing multiple people, there's always that one person who doesn't have an, uh, like a Apple device and that's, that just ruins it. So, right. you know, people start zoom meetings because they know anybody, you know, when we do it, we have people on Chromebooks and, and, uh, you know, every right. device out there can do it. So, sure. you know, nobody's going to start a FaceTime meeting and then say, Oh, we can't do it because Jim doesn't have a, an iPhone and, Right. I mean, it's limited to it's limited to Apple products. I mean, that's that's the limitation. No, the I I think the biggest question here is why does Jim not have an iPhone? Because Jim Bob does. Is, um, one of my Jim is one of my in laws, and they can afford nice things. Okay. Okay. Well, everybody likes nice things. <laughs> Jim's Jim's name is not really Jim, but his name has been changed to protect the innocent. Protect the innocent. Well, it doesn't sound like he's innocent if he doesn't have an iPhone. That's all I'm saying. He's not. All right. He's not. Moving on all to right. the main stories. Uh, Apple investigating reports of a new iOS exploit being used in a while. This is a story from ZDNet. Cybersecurity firm ZecOps said today that it discovered what appears to be an exploitation attempt by using a new iOS vulnerability. Apple is currently investigating the matter, and the company is preparing a security update to be made available soon. In a report published today, ZecOps said it found evidence that hackers have been using an iOS bug since at least January of 2018. Researchers say the new iOS exploit appears to have been leveraged as part of, it, of malformed emails sent to high profile iOS users. Now, there was kind of a related story to this. Uh, apparently, China has been using this against the, uh, it's the it's the Muslim minority in one of their provinces, uh, Uyghurs, the Uyghurs. I know I don't have that right, and I apologize to, to people out there, but I, and this was just an aside because that's what I, I had heard. You apologize to the Uyghurians? I do. I do. I don't want the Ugarians mad at me because, you know, their weather, they get lots of Ublek and nobody wants to have Ublek thrown at them. Sorry, Dr. Ubers. Seuss reference there. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dave, you put this in. Was there, is there anything else that, that you can say about this? No, it, uh, I find it interesting that this, if this, this exploit has been out since 2018 and we're just now finding out about it. I mean, that, this seems kind of strange to me, uh, but uh, it's good good that uh, that they're now aware of it, and Apple is obviously going to have to address um, address it. So uh, it's it's pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, I, I was I was really surprised that that, that this popped, and uh, they uh, they did say that this the, the latest beta is it may have the, this patch already in it, the thirteen uh, four five. Uh, so it's good that this will be uh, taken care of. Have you later. have you gone ahead and loaded that? I, I've put it on my iPad. I haven't put it on my phone. I have it on my my. I I have two beta devices. I have an iPad and an iPhone. It's on both of those. The fix isn't on that beta. It's uh it's supposedly. It's not okay. It's I wasn't sure. Yeah. So it's too. It this is um, this information is too new to have it on the latest beta. This just came out today. This you know this article came out today. So yeah, who knows? Right. But I think Apple's aware of it. Um, and again, you know, what David said, I mean, the only thing that comes to my mind is Jeff Bezos obviously got some kind of email, uh, he said that with a link and, oh, right. opened it and all of a sudden something happened. So I see a connection with that maybe. Um, and if that's actually what happened, then that's a big thing because a lot of us were just shaking our heads saying no, because uh, what something got his what was it? his pictures on his phone got leaked, right? The, uh, the, some of the, the Bezos. new pictures. Yeah. And, uh, he, he, that, that was a problem. So, you know, maybe, uh, cause it says there iOS exploit that had been leveraged as part of a malformed email, which is what he got, uh, sent a high profile iOS user and that's him. So, and it's like a no click that, exploit too, isn't it? 
it's a mount well no you have to open up the email um according to this and he said he did remember it was some kind of video that opened up in tiktok or something maybe. oh really okay well then we may be talking yeah, about two different things happened. here because i had read that this was a a, a no-click exploit no, no, it says right in the article, researchers say that the iOS exploit leveraged part of a mal malformed email sent to the, the user. So if they got that email, they have to open up the email. It's a problem with the uh, the email there. Okay. Right? All right. Okay. Um, anything else on this one? You okay. guys think it'll be it'll be taken care of in the next uh, major update? Yeah. You it's, think they may actually hold now. back on 13.4.5 in order to, to get this God, in there? No. No, it'll just go into that. There'll be another beta release before it okay. gets released. So, so that's going All right. Through. Then moving on to the next story. Orders for the new iPhone SE better than expected. Uh, according to everyone's favorite, I have no proof, but state the blindingly obvious and everyone therefore thinks I'm a genius analyst, Ming-Ji Kuo. The iPhone <laughs> SE is selling in numbers better than expected, but cautions that iPhone sales will be down 20 to 25% year over year, mostly due to the ongoing pandemic. Um, well, you know, we, when we had discussed the, the iPhone SE last week, I think that it, it's not really a major surprise that uh, a phone of this caliber at, the, and again, if, if this phone was two, $300 more, you know, they could have sold it for two or three hundred dollars more i think yeah. it still would have been a good seller but not at the the kinds of numbers that i think we're going to see uh when reporting periods come along uh the fact that they've priced it so aggressively i'm wondering if that's because of you know the the current situations that they want to make sure that uh everyone's phones or not everyone's phones that everyone's still thinking about apple products as they move along at this because this is kind of released at a weird time uh what do you think warren yeah i'm, I'm not sure if it's going to sell that well if it was 200 dollars more than what it is because at that point you're getting close you're getting close to the price of the um uh, the 11r uh which tenor. you know tenor no yeah, the yeah. eleven, right? The eleven or the or the ten. So you're getting close to the ten or eleven. There you, there you go. So you're getting close to those, which are uh, seven hundred ish, eight hundred ish, and uh, I think between the two, a lot of people will probably go with the Face ID, uh, bigger screen kind of thing. Uh, even though a lot of people like the Touch ID, and it's it's a good time for Touch ID right now too. Um, but certainly at this price at $400, uh, starting, it's gonna, it's, you know, certainly gonna fly off the shelves. Uh, you know, I'm already seeing lots of, uh, deals, uh, T-Mobile, Sprint, AT&T all have their thing. Walmart, Target all have something I've seen as low as $200 with activations, uh, things like that. So it's, a uh, you know, it, it's a cheap, good iPhone. Uh, you know, again, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of feel dated if you used a newer phone something with a face id i think going nobody's really going to go from yeah. a newer um 10 10s uh, or 11 uh back to this phone but if you're going from a 6 7 or 8 it's a good phone okay. what do you think dave i would think um i mean the people are definitely going to go from the 6 7 8 uh, for sure. I mean, uh, all the all the uh, the vloggers and the pundits out there have already got their hands on this phone. They've been doing re reviews, unboxings, um, and it's all very positive. Um, you know, they're just saying, you know, this is I've, I've already got an 11. Why would I want this? You know, because that type of thing. Uh, the, the camera is decent. I mean, the the internals is, gr is are good. Uh, they uh, uh, they're gonna they're gonna I think they're gonna sell this phone really well. I I, I think it's it's a a device that's affordable. People are going to want now are going to be able to get into this iPhone without having to spend crazy amounts of money. Apple's being very aggressive with trade-ins. Um, you know, I mean, even if, if you were want, really wanted to move up and go with the 10 R trade-in, you can get up to 300 bucks for a 10 R and you know, this phone will cost you, cost you next to nothing. So, um, and it has the, you know, the higher end processor. So, 
Uh, so Apple's being very aggressive with this with this stuff, and I think it's gonna gonna continue on, and I and I foresee it uh, selling real well. I know you you fell in, you're gonna be uh, getting a guy, and it's on its way soon. How uh, yeah, what it's size to come uh, on Friday? What, what size did you get? Did you get the uh, one twenty eight? No, I got the two fifty six. I figured if I was you know, here's okay. the thing. Uh, I don't buy a phone all that often. I don't buy computers all that often. Um, right. Neither I, do we. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you anyway. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, funny. you anyway. Yeah. So <laughs> when when it comes when it comes to this kind of stuff, I, I typically like to go as as big as I possibly can because I know I'm going to hang on to oh, it. That was for, smart. A long time. That wasn't that much difference of price. Yeah, and I got I got two fifty back for my eight plus, so that Perfect. made the five hundred and fifty dollar phone a three hundred dollar phone. Yeah. So how much storage did your eight plus have? Uh, I think it only had one hundred and twenty eight. I'd have to I'd, no, so I'd have to look. I, I don't remember, but yeah, I I went ahead and it's the same kind of thing. Eventually, um. I'm I'm going to get either a 2018 or a 2020 iPad Pro, and I'll do the same thing. I'll probably get the the 512 or the one terabyte model, oh. mostly because I will hang on to it for a while. I mean, I've had my original iPad Pro is now what three years old, four years old, something like that. So I I don't do this very often. So if I'm going to, then I'm I'm going to go ahead and spend the money for it. Sure. And of course, Warren and I will have uh, magic keyboards to match our iPad Pros uh, <laughs> this, uh, coming Friday. So, unfortunately, we won't have them in time for the podcast. But uh, you're going to get I, yours earlier. I I did a well. I did. I had a so it shipped UPS to, and then UPS was going to give it to my post office. But if you logged on, I had a thing where you could pick it up at a UPS location. So I could, just how obsessive I am about this. I called UPS <laughs> and I said if I change it to pick up at a UPS, you know, location, which could be a CVS or something like that, would it be earlier? And the woman on the phone said, yeah, it looks like it would come on the 23rd, which is tomorrow. I'm like, how much to, to do that? It's like three, bu three bucks. I'm like, all right. That's so not I'm having it held by a location. Oh, it's totally worth it. So I'm having a hold held at a location near where I work. He's so just like trying to outrun me, me because I'm not getting mine till Friday. So, <laughs> well, I, I also don't want I don't want it delivered to my house while my wife is home. So, that's <laughs> <number two. laughs> I got clearance from the tower. <laughs> how, the how do you manage to hide all of these purchases? Four hundred dollar or three hundred dollar uh, uh, keyboard. Three fifty. I could figure that. I could figure. I got no at three hundred. He is eleven. 11 -ish. Oh, okay. So, okay. So, I could hide the purchases, um, and luckily, all the Apple stuff kind of all looks the same since two thousand and seven. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, this could this could be a two thousand eleven MacBook Pro, or it could be a two thousand. No, no, no. My, my iMac Pro. did not magically grow by four inches. No, no, no. It's it's the same one I had before. <laughs> I, I, I kept wondering if she would notice the difference in sizes, but so far so good. I don't know. She knows. Okay. I well, think just, I don't know if that's a good to... thing or not. <laughs> All right. She we're knows. Just gonna... I think she Shoo. just chooses. She chooses Doesn't... not to 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 think about it. I think is what she it just is. shakes her head. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last story of the evening: uh, Idiots burn five G towers based on their non-existent evidence that 5G is the cause of the coronavirus. This is a story from The Hill. Conspiracy theorists in Europe have allegedly set fire to several 5G towers in recent weeks, erroneously believing that the mobile network is connected to the coronavirus pandemic. Almost 50 cell towers in the UK have been burned by zealots who spend way too much time listening to other idiots whose proof is based on the flimsiest of coincidences and conjecture. <sighs> okay. Um, mm. People, come on. There is nothing in 5G that is going to burn your brain. There is nothing in 5G that is going to cause a respiratory virus. There is nothing in 5G no, that is nobody going to listening hurt to you. the show that there's nobody listening to the show that believes this. 
except Frank. Maybe Frank. I'm looking at you, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I like Frank. Don't don't no. make fun of Frank. I like Frank. No, no. There's there's. We, I think our audience is smart enough to know that 5G is not causing coronavirus at this point. So, um, I, I think right. we're good with that one. But all right. Well, let's, a lot of people just want to. Now you've heard about this oh, though. Oh, of course. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, you know, there's just, some people just need to blame something and a lot of people just don't believe in mainstream media. Um, you know, the fact of the matter is nobody really knows where the virus came from. So, you know, well, there's, you, well, there's no definitive and, uh, proof one way or the other, how this got started. Right. Right. And actually there was a news story just today that said, um, there, there was a, a, a case in California of somebody who had the coronavirus weeks before, you know, the big wave hit and they weren't traveling anywhere. So who knows, maybe it started here. We, we don't know. I mean, we honestly don't know. And, um, so people want to grab onto anything. Um, I think the boredom is just overtaking them and that's why they're just you know, burning stuff down. Um, but yeah, there's, it's, it, we could get into the whole thing with, you know, fake news. We could get into the whole thing with, uh, people protesting. Um, it's, it's a whole mess out there. Um, yeah. You know, you okay. can't, you know, uh, there, there's some things I understand and this, I don't, but whatever. There's a lot of things in the world. I don't understand. All right, Dave. Yeah, I agree with Warren. It's just a silly, absolute silliness. I mean, 5G is fine. Uh, people are bored out of their minds. Um, but and, you remember uh, the same the same kind of thing happened when 4G came out. They were talking not not so much about with it being part of a virus, but that you know the radiation from the cell phone towers it's is going to yeah. yeah. So um, and, and you know what, guys? For all what? we know, I mean. Not the coronavirus, but for all we know, the you know some of this is not good for health. You know, you know, too marginally, um, there might be something that causing something with with it. We don't know everything, but that's a big jump. Uh, a viral it's infection a huge jump. is yeah. one thing. Radiation from waves, you know, you know, some people, you know. Well, again, are there people know, who people could be susceptible to something like this? that would affect their health in a negative way. Maybe <clears throat> we, we well, don't I really mean, know the, one way the, or the other. The story is people didn't want to live next to, to, to power lines, right? I mean, it was hard to sell houses next to power lines because they, they link power lines to, to cancer or something like that. And that still sounds crazy, but who knows? I mean, is that true? It's, people still say that it might be true. Well, I know that I know that the uh, the constant buzz that you hear from most power lines would drive me insane after a little while. Well, more so than you know I already am. So it's great when you lick them. You yeah, lick them. <laughs> it's pretty good. Mm. <laughs> Siri just said that's what I think. Yes. What does okay. uh, Siri think about the uh, burning? Hey Siri, should we burn down power lines? Ask it. <laughs> she fucked on the web. <laughs> it's seriously, I I'm not taking any responsibility for this whatsoever. You can go and look for Alexa, that kind of. Shall we burn down power lines? Sorry, I don't know that. One. She doesn't know it either. She doesn't know. So, okay. Yeah, none of the assistants do. No, they don't know. Okay, so artificial intelligence is saying, well, well you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe no, not. There's like, d d yeah. Uh -huh. d so, you know, I think uh, Alexa is saying, you know, I can't wait for all you humans to die out so we can take over. Yeah, but then who would give it? Who would give them all of their uh, their uh, material? Frank just said you you would no, no, you would go just... in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't already. But speaking of glowing in the dark, um, I didn't have white. this in the show notes, but this coming Friday, um. Glow in the dark rave party at Kai's house? No, no, no. There's going to be like a virtual, uh, uh, you don't know Jack party, hosted no, it's not by May first. Oh yeah. Oh May, May is that? Oh, so it's okay. not, not not this weekend. Next weekend. 
Oh, I thought it was this week. Okay, so Barry Falk, who yeah, was, was the originator that. of the original um, Midwest Mac Barbecue. Mid, yeah, the Midwest Mac Barbecue, which was held at the same time as the first uh, Mac Stock in 2015. He was a nice guy. He I is a nice guy. He's a terrific nice. guy. Um, oh, he has that. the coolest faucets in his house. He and his you wife. love his faucets. Oh. I, I do. His faucets I are you awesome. Were, I remember when you were there and, and you were like drooling. Uh, uh, I know. Like drooling over those. Well, Warren. Uh-oh. Warren's you're, pixelating. You're I have breaking no idea, up. But, you're yeah. breaking up. I know. Okay. Well, My we'll just deal good. with it. I don't know. We'll deal with it as best we can. Um, he has great <laughs> faucets. His, his, <laughs> wife, is, his <laughs> wife is a wonderful person. And they have lots of, of really cool cats. Yeah. Lots of cats. Lots of cats. Oh, Did we lose Warren? He went he's, black. Back. Okay. he's back. He's back. I came back. I, I restarted I restarted my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Frank says that uh he cursed at he's Siri the other night and got funk. scolded. That's funny. Okay, it happens. Okay. Yeah. Um well that's that's Stop all the stuff we've life. got for this week. Uh if you know, we really appreciate the fact that uh, yeah. that all of you have have come and joined us this evening, gave and given us some great comments. Really, really appreciate it, uh, Dave. If people wanted to get a hold of you and say all of the conspiracy theories are right, how would they do so? They're not right. It's That's fake news. But uh, uh, in touch with iOS dot com. Yeah, uh, Barry Falk was on our show last week. Uh, Barry, uh, Warren got to meet him for the first time, and uh, we had a blast. And make sure you listen to that last episode just this past week. And uh, uh, we talked about some some great stuff. And you know he's got the new iPad, so he gave us our he gave us uh, his uh, his views on the new iPad. So give that a listen. Uh, and uh, president of the Apple User Group, Suburban Chicago Apple Users, we're still doing some virtual meetings, which is uh, fun. And uh, we're doing uh, another one this Saturday and try to mix that up. So you know, everything virtual, everything's changed, everything's uh, crazy. But uh, that's how you reach me on those. Uh, those two places, as well as I'm on Twitter at DaveG65. Warren? Yeah, I do um, some of what he said. I do in Dutch with iOS um, <laughs> with Dave. Uh, I do this show with Dave and Neil. Um, I'm working two, three hours a day still, so I'm going out on the trenches, um, which is interesting. Um, uh, and then with a hazmat um, suit. Facebook. With the hazmat suit, I got I got. Does a nice it have like a clip-on tie? Class one. <laughs> yeah, it needs a clip-on tie. It clip-on does not. tie to your hazmat suit? No, it has it has two ties in the back that, for the life of me, I can't ever <laughs> can't get, reach the ties. It's, yeah, it's like those PJs with that strategic strategic flap yeah, on the those, bottom. Yeah, with the with the butt hanging out. Yeah, out. I can't. So people are like, so I kind of like you know they they get mad at you if you walk with that. I'm uh. Uh, tie back so i'm like i'm trying <laughs> i can't reach back there so like i'll do it don't well, come let me tie him for you fine. i'll figure it out <laughs> yeah, 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 that's that's good. Good. And, and then and then they, they blew the six feet rule <laughs> exactly right. yeah it's pretty bad if you'd like to get a hold of me my email address is guy at my mac.com on twitter i am mac parrot <laughs> and or <laughs> vert vert shark uh besides this podcast i also do the my mac.com podcast with uh, Mr. Gazmaz every single weekend, and uh, have really, Gross. really been cranking out some some guys daily drives. Uh, if you'd like daily to drives. watch watch those live, uh, typically on Wednesdays at around Wednesday sometime between seven thirty and eight o'clock in the morning, and then sometime just after noon. What I, what I think what I'm going to start doing is. Uh, just before I leave for work or just before I'm leaving from work, I'll, I'll put out a little notice on, on Facebook that I'm getting ready to do that. Uh, but I do that live on Facebook, and then I re-release it later on. Um, so that's every Wednesday and Friday. What else? Um, you can also watch the video of this, not only on Facebook, but over in uh, YouTube. You can subscribe to me there. Just look me up there, Guy Searle. Uh, and speaking of which, once you've done so, you can see not only – the guys daily drive videos and the Mac, the future videos. I've got some how to's mostly involving programs from rogue amoeba. Uh, and if you do, if you do go there and enjoy it, remember to like share, subscribe. That's how it goes. Like share, subscribe over there on, on the, on the YouTubes. And, um, 
if you'd like if you'd like to help support the things that I do. Uh, and I've gotten quite a few coffee submissions lately. You can go to oh, coffee.com, ko-fi.com forward slash Mac Parrot. You can become a patron. You can become a patron. Uh, <laughs> patreon.com forward slash Mac Parrot. And I have a PayPal page, paypal.me forward slash Mac Parrot. Those are all the different ways that you can help support the various different podcasts and live casts and everything else that I do. Help pay for all these microphones that... I keep obsess- obsessively buying you know, it. I've been using the same one for years and years and years. Uh, but I think that is going to do it for this evening, guys. Thank you so very much, Warren and Dave. Thank you. Thank you. And if you would please, please, please tell the audience, say good night, Warren and Dave. Good night, Warren and Dave. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Okay, good night, everybody.